Welcome to TMAC. My name is Michael Gurney and we'll be discussing bimanual manipulation. This technique has been shown to be probably the most accurate technique to record centric relation. However, it is also potentially one of the most technique sensitive. Through this video, we hope to help you see how using proper technique makes this a very simple and repeatable method to record centric relation. In order to begin this procedure, instruct your patient to relax their jaw and place your fingers on the inferior border posterior portion on the angle of the mandible and apply light upward pressure. With your thumbs, place them lightly on the chin with guiding light pressure downward. As you do this, instruct them to relax and try to move or manipulate their jaw open and close. You'll feel kind of the, the jaw seating and then kind of a release that allows you to move their jaw ever so slightly. When you feel that, instruct them to close lightly and slowly and identify where their first tooth contacts. Repeat this several times until you are confident you've identified the CR first tooth contact position. As you can see, we found that position multiple times and now we're ready to record that position with our interocclusal record. Doing so, instruct the patient to not close their teeth together while you're getting the supplies and materials ready. We're confident with this case that we found that position. I like to use a little piece of triad tray material to be able to manipulate and close her into that position. So I make a little bead of triad, place that over her central incisors onto the lingual and lightly over the occlusal buccal surface. Again, I'll place my hands where I'd had them before with the thumbs on the chin and the fingers on the posterior angle of the mandible, applying light downward pressure on the chin and light upward pressure on the inferior border of the mandible and have her close until she is roughly a millimeter and a half to two millimeters apart. I'll have my assistant cure that triad piece until it is set. Once it is set, I will usually instruct the patient or guide the patient through that series of movements again to ensure it is in the proper position. As you can see, the patient closes right into that jig that we've just made. Now that we've created that jig, leaving it on her teeth, I will inject exabyte, GC exabyte material. You really want a rigid material that minimal distortion in it onto her maxillary teeth. Occlusal surfaces are covered to the thickness that allow to record the occlusal surfaces of the maxillary and mandibular teeth. Again, placing my thumbs on the chin, my fingers on the inferior border of her mandible, guiding her or supporting her as she closes into that jig. And I will retain that position and support until that material sets up. This material takes about 35-40 seconds to fully set. Once it's set and firm, I will remove the records from her mouth and proceed to trim the records appropriately. Sometimes you can actually see where that CR first tooth contact is due to the thinness of the material in that area. When you trim the records, be very careful not to injure yourself, but you will want to remove any occlusal groove anatomy as well as any interproximal anatomy. All you would like in the end is the cusp tips to be present to ensure that they best seat onto the models of the impression obtained from the impressions you made previously. 